Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we are watching another Darman video. Now, this has become pretty much my favorite pastime. Just because of how ridiculous these videos are, I absolutely love it. I made a video on it, um, like a week ago maybe, and, uh, you guys absolutely loved it. So yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, so pretty much today we're watching a car mechanic tries to scam a woman, instantly regrets it, Darman. Nah, but seriously, Gordon. It's been an incredible 15 years, man. Thank you, Oscar. You know, you man, this guy is in every single video. He was literally in the tennis video, in the cooking video. He, he's like a recurring actor, this dad guy, dude. You earned that. Dang, dude, Give fat bonus you, check. Looks like I'm gonna have to promote one of you two now, huh? <sighs> Before you continue, sir, I just gotta say, I love that suit. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Your suit is just gorgeous. What can I say? Uh, you, you need to promote someone. Your suit is beautiful. This is equivalent to the kid in class sucking up to the teacher like, Oh, uh, Mr. Rogers, you are looking quite fit today. Also, I would love an A-plus on my exam. Thank you, Leroy. But it's not going to be that easy. Damn, he doesn't take no BS, Whoever runs okay? Whoever this shop is going to have to earn it. I'm promoting the person who can earn the most amount of money for the shop by the end of the day. Why are they so happy, dude? You're, you're in a competition, goddamn. Becoming shop manager. Can you imagine? <laughs> That'd be like a dream. <laughs> Being in a Darman video, now that's a dream. So to shatter your dream, but that manager position's mine. Pretty soon I'm gonna be your boss, so you should get used to taking orders from me. You know what? Dang, that was like a clean throw, dude. I, I would have never landed it perfectly on top of the other paper plate, along with the, the ridges of the chocolate cake, bro. It could have easily fallen down, goddamn. Honestly, give this guy manager immediately. His hand skills are impeccable. Also, look at this guy. He's just contemplating life right now. Why am I here? Why am I in a Darman video? I forgot my lines, goddamn it. How are you gonna start crying after one bit of trash talk, bro? That's part of the game, goddamn. Oh. Hey. Hey. See, this is the kind of customer I hate. What, bald people, dude? What the heck? Fellows, can we start the hashtag love for the bald homies? Because this dude is discriminatory. Cringe, bro. Just because you have hair, you think you can make fun of bald people, dude? Broke and never spend any money. You can tell just by looking at them. How? how? How can you hey. tell he's broke? Get Aren't off. bald people usually like millionaires and super rich or something? I don't know. Actually, uh, my name's Sam. My tire sign just came on. Can one of you check it? Yeah, not a problem. I'd be happy to. Just go ahead and... Uh, lo siento, but no. We don't fill air here, Paco. Take it to the gas station. Dang, I'm actually worried dude. that we'll make it to the gas station. Can one of you please just check? No, the answer is still... Sure. No. I'll check it for you. Okay, stepping up, right. stepping up. I like Thank this so guy. Not willing to be pushed around <laughs> anymore, dude. Dude, what's with this guy? Like, stop! Look at this guy's face and tell me he's not about to throw a right hook at this dude. See this? This is exactly why you'll never be a manager. Take it from me, okay? Stop wasting your time with poor looking people. What do you mean poor looking people? What if he's rich? Look, I've always believed in helping people. Okay, Aww. and besides, Wholesome. You should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Would you look at that? A woman who knows nothing about cars. A woman. He spotted like a, a woman. Baby. Watch and learn. Trying to scam, scam woman, bro. Cringe. Well, hello. Welcome to Chris's Car Pairs. Can I help you, sweetheart? Hi. If somebody called me sweetheart, I would immediately call 911. I swear to God, the only people who say sweetheart are creepy old uncles and actual people on a register. Engine light is on. I I think I may just need some new spark plugs. <laughs> Dang, that's a well, fancy car. I know as a woman, you probably don't know much about cars, but take it from me. Dude, this guy's actually such a moron. If you're trying to sell something to someone, you, you have to practice flattery, not, I know you're a woman and you're really stupid. Who the heck writes these scripts, dude? God damn. Well, I know as a woman, you probably don't know much about cars, but take it from me. This could be very serious. Ah, yes, the check engine oh, light. I actually know a lot about cars. If I could just get some spark plugs, I can change them myself. Look, look. Just because you found some inspo on Pinterest doesn't mean you know about cars. 
Trust the experts, sweetheart. Oh my god, each time he says sweetheart, I want to jump into a black hole. This dude is just peak cringe. Doesn't like women, doesn't like bald people, doesn't like poor people. Cringe! Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's Christina, by the way. My husband doesn't like it when other men call me sweetheart. Mmm. Sure. Wait, 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 whoa, mm, mm, no. Dude literally goes, mm, sure. <laughs> Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand, maybe even ten. Oh, okay, yeah, that guy's definitely not spending any money. We'll see. I mean, he has a Who's car. <laughs> That's more than I have. Thanks again. This isn't even my car. It's my daughter's. I have a business nearby. Sure, sure you do, Hector, and I'm the CEO of Tesla. Skeptical Sally. Hey, let's take a look. Well, the air is just a little low, so a small top off should do the trick. All right. There. Thank you so much. Here's 50 you? grand. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in always treating customers like family. So I'm not going to Well, you know, that's kind of a stupid policy, to be honest. Like, I get the message, but if... Okay, if I'm family, why the heck am I going to pay you for anything? Is everything that's free at Chris's car repairs, dude? Are you going to pay for my college tuition, Chris's car repairs? Are you going to make me warm milk and cookies when I go to bed? If not, don't you dare call yourself family. Aren't you for a little bit of air? Wow. God bless you. I won't forget this, and trust me. I'm definitely coming back. This is like straight from a short story. I won't forget this comes back, gives him a million dollars, gives him a senior position. Like, that's just not how life works. Like, you could do something nice and you could just not be rewarded whatsoever. I feel like Darman is teaching kids that when you do something good, you should expect something good in return. But that's not really always how it works. I mean, I do believe in like karma and, you know, if you do good things, good things will happen. But it could happen after 10 years, okay? You could spend 9 years being the best person and getting treated like Crash. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in treating everyone like- Are you serious? You know what? I unironically agree with them. You're not treating them like family, bro. Do you not see how much cash he had? I would have taken it all. Wait, what, what do you mean? You just said he was poor, liar. He did say he was coming back. <laughs> That's what they all say, but they never do. Take it from me. Get it all while you can. Damn, he made a girlfriend right learn. there, dude. Well, hello, and welcome back. Listen, I can really fix it myself if you just give me- Oh, that. oh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, this is a serious job that requires the right man. Luckily for you- How are, how has she not I'm slapped right him yet? Now, if you just give me the key, I'll the give it a patience on this woman. But that's really not necessary. <laughs> Trust the professionals, okay, sweetheart? Oh, he said it again. He said it again. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Guys, I can't take it. I'm gonna click off this goddamn video. We're not even halfway through, dude. Please, please, don't stop saying that word. If you call your partner sweetheart, you don't deserve rights. Christina. Right. Now go have a seat in the customer lounge, and I'll come. There's a lounge. What kind of a rich ass repair lounge? Inspection. Is that really necessary? Oh, oh yes it is. You see, a full inspection costs $250, and that is just the beginning of it. Just wait until I tell her her car has a leak. Oh. Okay, how do you know she's not going to Framing her. She's a woman for crying out loud. She's she a woman, no dude. Take it from me. I don't know. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its cover. Oh, you think I would take advice from you? The guy who gives out free air and made zero dollars- Wait, wait. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its cover. He's implying that just by the appearance of a woman, she wouldn't know how to oh, fix a car. Even that guy's sexist. They're both sexist, bruh. Give me a break, dude. Besides, with my charm, I'll have her thanking me for not charging her more. You'll have her calling you sweetheart? <laughs> Oh, oh he, boy. She was reading a Darman book? Okay, I had sympathy for the woman for a second, but... Okay, maybe maybe that book teaches you about life. I, I might need a cop a Darman book right now, dude. Am I glad you brought this in today? The engine needs to be replaced. What? 
That's crazy. It was running perfectly fine. <laughs> Look, I know the that scoffs. as a woman, you may not be able to understand all this. God but damn. I am doing you a huge favor. Take it from me. Five grand? And you charged me the $250 inspection fee. I said that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, but the car needs a brand new engine. You should be thanking me. You should have seen when I got into that thing. It was leaking engine oil everywhere. <sighs> Damn, scoff back. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ooh. See? Look at all the oil your car was leaking. Come on, just police, dude. Or punch him, I don't know. I'm waiting for the climax, please. Would you mind giving me some new spark plugs? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. I know that because I'm a woman, you may think I don't know a lot about cars, but I actually do. Thanks. You see, would you like to come on? Damn, maybe she should work here. Jesus. Needle nose pliers, please. Straight up surgeon. Is this guy trying to learn from her, dude? I thought you, at least he knew you should know how to do your job. Come on. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a gauge guy? Jeez, dude. He's getting it? <laughs> Why would you get it? <laughs> Completely admitted defeat. Let's just say my dad owns a shop. Oh, the dad is the bald I guy, 100%. Your dad. She's the daughter. Christina! What are you doing here? I oh, get it's this guy. Down. Wait, she's your daughter? Yeah, yeah. She actually used to work here back when Oscar started, but uh, I guess you guys haven't met yet, huh? She's my little girl. <laughs> Thanks for the shop was, after. That was weird. Wait, Chris's car repairs? Yeah, yeah I call her Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So, well, I'm so glad I was able to fix your car for you. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the cost. It's. It's on the house after all. We always treat our customers like family here. Oh, save it. <laughs> Leroy here tried to charge me $5,000 to replace my entire engine when all I needed were some spark plugs. You what? Got him. Oh, sorry. Got him. I, I, I GG, G no re. Uh, wow, wow, that is a nice Porsche. Bald guy, 100%, yeah. Hey, Sam. I told you I'd be back, and this time I brought my car. I'm thinking about painting it red, getting some new rims, maybe even a new sound system. What do you think something like that would cost? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, around 10 grand? That sounds great to me. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Just wait for me in the lunch and I'll be right with you. Uh, great. Thank sweet you. karma. Sweet, sweet karma. You're the new shop manager. Wait, really? Well, I mean, it wasn't much of a competition, no, are you was serious? it? I mean, this guy's unironically like classist, sexist, cringe, probably on a registry. Like, come on. Thank you. That won't be necessary because you're fired. Bro. See, at this shop, we like to treat everybody like their family, not take advantage of them. I mean, wasn't this, this guy a longtime employee of yours? Like, how did you not see this? Come on. Can this day get any worse? Probably. Never judge a book by its cover. You Maybe. said that like three times. I, I'm gonna take the book and slap you in the face with it. Goddamn. You got me fired. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. He said it again. He. I'm, 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 I'm triggered. I'm actually triggered. I'm gonna have a muscle man freak out right now. Oh, oh no. What'd you just call her? Oh, sweetheart. the boyfriend. Why? Who are you? Her husband. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's, that's a yikes. Remember when you said, can this day get any worse? Yeah, that's- They want their news. Co what? You didn't show him beating him up? Cringe. Cringe the best part of the video. Cut out. Cringe, Darman. Never judge a book by its cover. Women and men are both are brilliant. You know, this is such a stupid saying to apply to this context because it implies that the cover, which is women, are not- Like, they look like they can't do any car work, which is stupid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna end it there. I hope you guys did enjoy. That was yet another- Fantastic Darman video. If you ever see someone say the word sweetheart, pull out your katana and chop their liver in half. Okay, hope you guys did enjoy. I think I said that twice. Okay, whatever. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.